Hi Sandhya, how are you? Hi Rakesh. I'm I'm doing great. How about you? Thank you. Yeah, I'm good too. Thank you. So can you tell me something about yourself? Yeah, my name is Sandhya, as you know. Uh, I'm from Hyderabad. So I, I have committed my graduation in uh, computer science engineering in uh, 2016. So after that, I have joined in Accenture in 2018, in the month of Jan, as a operations associate. So in that... Okay. Uh, yeah, what do you perform? That, over? You perform manual testing or you perform automation testing? Manual, Rakesh. Okay, you're performing manual testing over there. Okay, fine, great. Yeah. Now, let's say if I give you a scenario where the website is under maintenance from 12 to 2 p.m. Okay, so how will you write the test scenarios for that website? 12 to 2 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Let's say if you have to write the test cases for uh, a particular scenario of a website which is under maintenance from 12 to 2 p.m., right? So, what would be the test steps? What would be the test cases in this for this scenario? Uh, check the uh, start and end time of the, I mean, before uh, going to the <clears throat> application. So we have to check start uh, if, if the website is working uh, at that 12, 12, 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. And also check uh, at 2 p.m. also, two, two cases should involve. Okay. So, what else? Mm, and also, we can take uh, one negative. I mean, mm -hmm. one neg invalid, invalid uh, time also. We can take uh, one time between twelve to two p.m. Okay. Any, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Particular time. Right. Then. <clears throat> mm. What else is coming to your mind? And, and if you need, I can help you out with the answer. No? This is a mock interview. So feel free to take yeah. the help, right? Okay. So basically what you can answer over here is, let's say 12 to 2 p.m. is a maintenance time. So none of the transaction or the website should not work from any of the browser or any of the operating system. Let it be from the mobile or let it be from the computer or laptop or anything, right? That is one of the best scenario. Another scenario that you can add over here is what about the time zones, right? Is it re related to yeah, the localization? Rent? Yeah. Let's say if uh, it's an IST based uh, website. So is it yeah. going down from 12 to 2 p.m. or if it, what would happen if it has been accessed uh, outside, you know, in US time zone or in UK time zone? then what is the uh, behavior of what would what would happen in this scenario right that you can think of and that you can question on and that you can add in the test case as well let's say even if in the requirement you didn't get this thing 12 to 2 pm right i just told you 12 to 2 pm but there is a sort of you know this scenario coming up into your mind of a time zone so you can cross question the business analyst or the project managers and you can tell them see this is what the scenario i was thinking so I have added in the test cases. So shall we brainstorm on this point? Kind of that. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Then what else can be there? Okay. Now let's say if you were performing some transaction at 11.59. Okay. And the amount was going to get deducted at 11.50. I mean, the next step was the amount was going to get deducted. Right. And it happened 12. Then what about the amount? Did it get deducted? Let's say if you are trying to purchase some tickets, if, let's say if it's a book my show website. Okay. Am mm -hmm. I am I audible? Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. So let's say if it's a book my show website, then uh, you are paying and all of a sudden 12 p.m. happened. Then what would happen? Did the tickets got, got booked or just the amount got deducted? So those are all the scenarios that the you can consider. What would happen at 11.59? What would happen at 1.52? 
2 p.m. Right, 2 p.m. and 11 and 12 p.m. that you covered, I think. So what about 11:59 mm -hmm. and what about 2:1? Right. So that is mm -hmm. there. Okay. Then um, yeah. So these are few of the test cases that you can think on this uh, kind of scenario. Okay. Now let mm -hmm. me share okay. my screen. Is my screen visible? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, yeah. Now you are supposed to write the test scenarios for this particular page, right? This is a, a website, travel website, and you have got uh, two options over here, right? You can scan this QR code and you can download, or you can enter your mobile number and you can download the application, right? So, what would be the test scenarios for this particular website? Yeah. Firstly, uh, we need to launch the web application using browser. Secondly, we need to check the uh, login functionality. Like here, it is a mobile number. So we need to here. Here we have a uh, two methods. Like one is scanning, and one, another one is a uh, installing the application in our mobile. So we need to check that both both the cases. So firstly, uh, we need to go. For, uh, we can go for the uh, scanned. I mean, barcode. Mm. Check whether it it is displaying the uh, desired application or not. If we scan that uh, barcode, whether it is reaching to desired application or not, we need to check. Other on and uh, then go to that uh, mobile number. If we enter uh, correct mobile number, it should be ten digits. It should be valid. If we enter that mobile number. I mean, uh, so we can, I mean, we can click onto the, that send app link, whether it is uh, sending a link to that particular mobile number to the, or not. And uh, so we have uh, options also in above that is SMS and email also. Yeah, uh, we can uh, we also check those uh, options also because if you get SMS as a link, we can uh, download that app application from our mobile. That is easy way. Another one is uh, they can send this. I mean, if we enter, if we click on email, it will show a text box like uh, enter your mobile, uh, enter your email address. Mm -hmm. So if it if it uh, write write a email and um, in that text box and that is a valid email number. Mm -hmm. Then only it should send the uh, application link to the email address, desired email address. Mm -hmm. That is a login for this. I mean, trip trip follow. Mm -hmm. If we and also if we check that uh, link from our mobile in email or from mobile number, mm -hmm. if you click on that link, it is uh, redirecting to a desired application or not. Right. And. Uh, Uh, that's it for the login, Rakesh. Mm -hmm. um, okay, maybe. okay, fine. So, uh, apart from this, what you can do is you can also add negative test cases, right? Let's say if you enter a problem. Yeah, a country code but you enter incorrect mobile number or you enter proper mobile number but you enter incorrect country code then what happens right then coming yeah, yeah. to the email as well <clears throat> let's say you are entering some incorrect email address and then you are sending yeah. that link then what happens yeah. okay yeah, it will um, not happen yeah. right another scenario over here in itself is let's say if you have entered a valid email address and you have sent yeah your e to that email address the link has been delivered in what particular time that link is active okay it might happen after 24 okay. hours that link is not working or let's yeah. say after two days that link is not working okay what would happen if, time. right what would happen if you get the link you register it are you able to reuse it again on the another device okay so these um, are few of the things right yeah. right then it's uh the 
if if it's an iOS phone, then it should be able to download from the App Store itself. App Store, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that is there. Okay. Now, yeah, this is fine. Okay. So before that, I had asked you a question on the website under maintenance, right? Earlier, the prior question. Yeah. In that, we can add one more test scenario. Is let's say if you are using, if you are trying to access that particular particular website from some X Y Z location, then the user friendly message should be pop should be displayed over here over there right in that particular language let's say if it, it depends on again you know the requirement if it's an english based uh, validation message always or if it is also depending on the region in which we are accessing that particular website right so that message yeah. will be user friendly and it should get displayed okay now what is the difference between scrum and agile mm -hmm. Agile is a, a step by step process. Uh, if, we need, if we need to uh, deliver any product, we mm -hmm. need to follow that uh, some phases uh, within a specific time and cost. Scrum means a scrum is uh, allocated to he can see he can handle the, both the I mean both the responsible like developers and testers also. He can. Uh, involved in every phase of uh, SDLC. But uh, if you say if the developers or testers are getting involved in Scrum, so in Agile also both are getting involved, right? In Agile, uh, hmm. yeah, I mean, yeah, in Agile, uh, both are getting involved. Hmm. Hmm. Scrum master. As um, uh, Scrum Master is. Uh, uh, Rosa, can you please wait for uh, 10 minutes? Just a second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Scrum Master is. Uh, yeah, Scrum Master familiar is. With the testing. No, no, testing. no, no. But uh, no, no, see, uh, Scrum Master is actually one of the member of the team, right? That is a different mm -hmm. question that I'll, I'll ask you uh, in the, uh, after this. But what is the basic difference between Agile and Scrum? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I, I'll, I'll give you a hint over here. See, if this question is asked, you asked to you in a real time interview, right? So what you can say is Agile is a project management philosophy that has a certain kind of or set of values or principle principles right while scrum is a specific agile methodology that is used to facilitate a project okay scrum is a subset of agile right okay. is it is it clear now scrum yeah. is a subset of agile yeah right now what is the role of scrum master now let's come to that point Scrum Master need to check the, uh, whether uh, testing management and uh, production management is uh, following the accurate, I mean, 100 per, I mean, testing management is following 100% mm -hmm. test coverage no, no, rule or is, not. No, no, that is not a role of Scrum Master. Scrum Master's role is basically to uh, take care of the impediments that is faced by the team. Let's say you are facing any impediment related to the it can be any impediment. Let's say if your machine is not working, you will go and raise it to the Scrum Master. Let's say if you are uh, if if you are facing any kind of challenges in your project, so you will go and uh, tell to the Scrum Master. Uh, yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. that is that is the role Scrum of master. a Scrum Master. Yeah. You are following Agile methodology, right? Yeah. Right. So yeah. Any any confusion, mm -hmm. Sandhya? No, I am getting only responsibilities of Scrum Master, but different between Scrum and Agile, I'm not getting that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell? 
Yeah, sorry, Sandhya, can you please come again? Can you tell me if you... Um... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you tell me the question? The responsibilities of Scrum Master, right? No, that the difference between Scrum and Agile, you only ask right, that question. Yes, yes. The difference between Scrum and Agile is, uh, see, Ag Agile is nothing but it is a project management philosophy, right? It has certain core set of its values or principles, you can say, while Scrum is a specific Agile methodology that is used to facilitate a project, right? Scrum is a subset of Agile. Okay, but what is the difference then? Okay, so so I'll, I'll explain you once again. See, let's say what is uh, waterfall, right? Waterfall is a methodology, right? Within that, mm -hmm. there are having uh, various, I would say, Pages. the features or flavors within that. Requirement collection, yeah. Right, right. Now, what is Agile? Agile is nothing but it is a kind of, again, a methodology, but it is based on quick customer feedback. Let's say if you have to develop something, right? If you have to deliver mm -hmm. something, to the customer what you will do is you will uh, create that particular feature and you will test it you will you will first develop it you will test it and you will showcase to the customer or the client and they will give mm -hmm. you the feedback again mm -hmm. you will work on it so it is a kind of yeah. uh, i would say it is a kind of repetitive uh, and and quick feedbacks thing that you will get from the customer right now what yeah, is the uh, more communication yeah yeah the more yeah. communication is there and what would happen is eventually the results will be quicker and those would be re reliable as well. Yeah. Right. Because you are getting the yes. feedback from the customer. Yes. Yes. Right. Mm. So in, but now what will happen in the scrum, right? Nothing but scrum is actually a, a part of agile itself. Okay. Right. Mm. And mm. And uh, let's say if Agile is a uh, methodology based on iterative and incremental approach, right? Yeah. So yeah. what would happen? Yeah. Scrum is one of the implementation of Agile methodology. Okay. Again, the, in, the builds are delivered in an incremental manner in Scrum as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right now, agile is actually, you know, uh, it's, it, it can be adaptable to frequent changes as well. Um, right. Yeah, any changes can be happen in that agile mode. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, first of all, the uh, the planning is done in agile, right? Mm -hmm. In in agile, basically, there are uh, the leadership roles that plays a vital role in agile, right? But in Scrum, what would happen is Scrum is a uh, collection of or it is a team of cross functional and self organization uh, organizing team members. Okay, so you can tell like that in an interview. Okay. 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 Hmm? Yeah. So this is fine. In Scrum management. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. What is non-functional testing? Uh non-functional testing. Non-functional testing. Testing the. I mean. Uh, it can come under. Non-functional testing are performance testing, compatibility yes. testing, installation testing, configuration. Um, yeah, we can check the uh, by check the behavior of the application by applying uh, this uh, whether uh, application is starting. I mean, stability whether it is. Uh, Capability is uh, started according to the client requirement or not because if you perform performance testing in that also it, whether it is uh, this uh, output is uh, whether the response time is delaying or not if you are playing any load on that particular application mm -hmm. taking the compatibility whether it is working according to the and different different browsers are operating systems and these are all the non-functional testing right right so you what you can say in one line is in non-functional testing the characteristics of the component or application or system is tested right like scalability security performance those are yeah. those aspects of the software are tested in non-functional testing okay 
Now, yes. what is internationalization testing and what is localization testing? Localization testing is um, if you want to book a, a flight ticket, mm. in that we have, um, if, we, if we go for a payment, if, uh, I mean, uh, that flight ticket, flight ticket uh, app website is same for everyone. I mean, US, US citizens for Indian people also. Mm. But when, when it comes to a payment part, so uh, it should display for the US citizen in the, in the form of dollars. For Indian people, it should display rupees. Mm -hmm. That is the one is the localization. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what okay. is internationalization? Including all the countries of uh, currencies in a payment method, that's it. That is, a, I mean. mm -hmm. okay. See, internet internationalization is nothing but it is a process of designing a software application that it can be adapted to various languages and regions without any changes. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, it can be adapted to various languages and regions, right? Whereas localization mm -hmm. is a process that is uh, limited to specific region or specific language, right? So that is the basic okay. difference between internationalization and localization testing. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, Sandhya, I am done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Mm -hmm. No, no, Rakesh, but thank you uh, yeah. for clarifying my doubts. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, okay, thanks, thank Rakesh. you. Yeah. Bye.